sisters and um, thank God they did. I mean, they didn't have to push me really hard because I loved it, but um, they pushed just enough, you know, to, uh, to make it stick. David Foster is a famous Canadian record producer, songwriter, composer, TV producer, actor, musician, singer, music arranger, keyboard player, and film score composer. This talented man has won 16 Grammy Awards and has been nominated for this award 47 times. From 2012 to 2016, David remained the chairman of Verve Records. In 2006, he was made the Officer of the Order of Canada. The next year, David was inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. In 2010, he was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, as well as the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. In 2013, he was also inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It was only pay phones, there was no cell phones. So now you've won, now you want to tell everybody, so you have to stand in line at the pay phone to like phone your parents and you phone my mother and go like, I just want a Grammy, you know? If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is David Walter Foster, but he's also known as the Hitman. He was born November 1st, 1949 in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, making him 71 at the time of this production. He stands at 5 feet 10 inches tall. The star sign of David is Scorpio, and he weighs around 70 kilograms. The color of his eyes is hazel and his hair is gray. According to this talented singer, the key to success in the music industry is networking. David has won a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song, and BMI has named him Songwriter of the Year. He received an honorary doctorate from the University of Victoria in 1995. Then in 2002, Berklee College of Music awarded him an honorary doctorate of music. Moreover, David is the subject of Barry Average's documentary movie titled David Foster Off the Record. This documentary film was released in 2019. He's the founder of the David Foster Foundation. Let me tell you that this organization supports children in need of a medical transplant. He's also an ardent supporter of Israel. In 2019, he was honored for his philanthropic work at the Juno Awards. David's the cousin of a race car driver named Billy Foster, and his sister is the famous producer named James Foster. James is the mother of Parker Foster Aiken. The singer's been married five times, and David is the biological father of daughters. He also has seven grandchildren. It's worth noting that his first child, named Allison Jones Foster, was born in 1970, and the singer placed her up for adoption. David reconnected with Allison when she was 30 years old. During the early 1970s, he married singer B.J. Cook, and their daughter Amy Skylark was born in 1973. Amy's a songwriter and author. Then in 1982, he married Rebecca Dyer, and the couple divorced in 1986. Together, they have three daughters, including Sarah, Aaron, and Jordan. In 1991, David married Linda Thompson, and they got divorced in 2005. In November 2011, David married a Dutch model named Yolanda Hadid in Beverly Hills, California. From Yolanda's previous marriage to Mohammed Hadid, David has three stepchildren, including Gigi, Bella, and Anwar. Yolanda and David divorced in 2017. The next year, this singer got engaged to Catherine McPhee, and they got married in June 2019. In October 2020, it was announced that they are expecting their first child. Word as the key to success. And their ambition, drive, focus, attention to detail, that's great. They're all great, you know. He's the son of Maurice Foster and Eleanor May Foster. His mother was a homemaker while his father was an office worker. David started attending the University of Washington in 1963. At that time, he was 13 years old and was enrolled in a music program at the university. Then in 1965, David auditioned to become the leader of a band in an Edmonton nightclub, which was owned by a jazz musician named Tommy Banks. Three years later, David decided to move to Toronto, where he played with Ronnie Hawkins. Then in 1966, the singer joined a backup band for Chuck Berry. He eventually moved to LA in 1974 with his band called Skylark. David was a keyboardist for Skylark, which released a hit song titled Wildflower in 1973. However, the band later disbanded and David remained in LA to form a band called Airplay. 
He worked with George Harrison on George's various albums, including 33, Extra Texture, and 1-3. During the 1980s, David produced two albums, including Outside Inside and the Completion Backward Principle for the Tubes. He also helped the American rock band Chicago become successful by producing their albums titled Chicago 16, Chicago 17, and Chicago 18. In 1984, he produced the album titled What About Me for Kenny Rogers, and the next year David produced Kenny's album The Heart of the Matter. During that same year, David also composed the score for the film titled St. Elmo's Fire. Two years later, David wrote songs for the film The Secret of My Success. The film titled Stealing Home was released in 1988, and David wrote songs for this film. Then in 1992, he along with Linda co-wrote a song titled I Have Nothing. Whitney Houston sang this song in the film titled The Bodyguard, which was released in 1992. Then in 1995, he signed a deal with Warner Brothers. David went on to set up his own boutique label called 143 Records. This was a joint venture with Warner Brothers and the cores were signed to 143 Records. However, David sold it back to Warner Brothers in 1997 and became the senior vice president at the corporation. In 1996, David worked with Kenneth Edmonds in the composition of the official song for the Atlanta Olympics, The Power of the Dream. Then in 2001, this talented man collaborated with the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra and Laura Fabian to produce bilingual, French language and English language versions of the National Anthem of Canada, O Canada. David hosted a one night concert in 2008 called Hitman, David Foster and Friends. The show which was held in Las Vegas featured songs written and produced by David during his 35 year career. David was at the center of the stage on the keyboard, and then in 2011, he became the chairman of Verve Music Group. However, he left in 2016. Since he's a well-known music producer, David got several opportunities to appear on TV. In 2006, he was a guest mentor on American Idol. During the same year, David also appeared as a guest judge on Nashville Star. Moreover, David has been seen on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, The Oprah Winfrey Show, The View, Star Tomorrow, and Celebrity Duets. In 2015, 2017, and 2019, David was a judge on Asia's Got Talent. David is also writing a musical about Betty Boop with Susan Birkenhead as well as a musical based on a novel titled Lucky Us with Jewel. It's worth mentioning that David has produced a number of best-selling Christmas albums during his career. These albums include Once Upon a Christmas by Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers and Rod Stewart's Merry Christmas Baby. Network. You have all the talent in the world. And the streets are lined with singers that sing incredible. They don't get anywhere. Networking. David has primarily accumulated his net worth through albums and live concerts. Moreover, he makes money from brand endorsement deals. The total net worth of David Foster is $150 million. Currently, David and his wife, Catherine, live in their mansion in Beverly Hills. Previously, he lived in a house in Malibu when he was married to Yolanda. David Foster likely owns the following cars, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, an Audi, a Lamborghini Gallardo,
a Cadillac Escalade. 